Hello, my Galaxians, it's Dr. Wookie. Gonna be jumping in this Gala Film Light Paper. Before we do, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway on this video. All you gotta do is go ahead and comment down below and click that very first link. That's it. Don't even have to like or subscribe. Comment, click that very first link. And the giveaway is going to be either a premium uh, mystery box for Gala Film or a Ghost of Ruin t-shirt, whichever one you want, you will let me know. And let's go ahead and talk about how you might be able to actually profit or pack your ga bags, Gala Film, uh, you know, right away, okay? So first off, they do say this is subject to change, as is everything, Gala, right? But they are saying that this is the current plan, that popcorn is going to be converted into film. I'm assuming we're getting close to this. The max supply is going to be 500 million tokens. That's it, 500 million. Way, way less than Gala Games, of course. That means if it was a dollar a token, that would still only be a $500 million market, $500 million market cap. Now, they do say there's a fair launch model. There's no pre-mint allocation for the team. However, everybody that's been running their nodes, they are going to be able to convert those popcorn buckets into Gala Film to provide that reserve of tokens initially for the ecosystem. Now, the current plan is for them to convert all the popcorn into film at a 1 to 10 ratio, which I think is stupid high. This is amazing. So with a bonus for larger buckets as well. Now this means that for every unit of popcorn, which to me means every single popcorn you have, you are likely to receive 10 Gala Film tokens after the token generation event. And let me explain how you can sneakily get a bunch of freaking popcorn and wondering speculatively is that if this could be a nice way for you to uh, go ahead and get a little sneaky profit. Ooh, did I use that word? It's naughty. Now, Gala Wolf, thank you for providing this. So essentially, right, one to nine popcorn gets you a welcome bucket, right? So if it's every unit of popcorn, that would mean 90 gala film right there. 240 gala film, 490 gala film token, 990 gala film token, almost 1500 gala film token, right? With a bonus as well. So what am I talking about this sneaky way? Well, that comment I told you, or that link I told you, you need to click down below to be entered in the giveaway is what I'm talking about now. This will take you to this page, okay? It's Common Ground that they partnered with for the Common Ground video or film. You can buy these premium Common Ground mystery boxes, okay? For only five bucks, okay? For five bucks, you get a 40% chance at getting a popcorn small bucket, okay? Small bucket meaning 90 gal of film, right? For five bucks. A 40% chance. So if you bought two of these, you would assume you'd get pretty close to getting one, right? So 10 bucks for 90 Gala Film token. This is how I'm reading it, okay? And I'm not the only one who apparently is thinking this because if you look in the Gala Film Discord, which I'll pull over right here, on this day, there was like 350 of these premium common ground mystery boxes that were like sold through the day. It was like 10 here, 10 here, three there, 10, 10, 10, 10, 3, 10 a whole bunch of these, okay? And not only is this, you know, you're getting the small bucket, okay? Oh, did I say 90 gal of film? I meant 240 gal of film. Oh my gosh, guys, I just made this like even more hypeable. 240 gal of film for 10 bucks, basically? That's how I'm reading this, which I think is insane because I think gal of film could easily hit a dollar token at some point. I know this is like, completely seems like a hype video, but you guys know, like, I'm always just, hey, Looking at, hey, where can we, you know, uh, sneak in some more tokens, right? And this is the way. Now, if you look at this whole list, I do want to point out that you can actually get a medium bucket. You have a one in about seven chance, a large bucket, one in 20 chance. You can end up getting a mega or XL bucket, one in 100, one in 1,000. So you can even get even bigger popcorn buckets, which are going to turn into gala film uh, tokens. So I just got to, I had to hype that a bit. And there's no limit. Look at this. I put like a thousand, so two hundred forty-two thousand gal for a thousand of these 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 boxes. Okay, let's get back into the gal film light paper. I just had to cover that because I think it's insane. So uh, definitely gonna be scooping some of those up because I think it's just stupid to not pick up a good fat amount of those so I can get more bags of these gal film uh, tokens right away. Uh, so let's jump back into the light paper. Sorry, sidetrack. Okay, so the popcorn. It's going to continue to exist, meaning you don't have to convert it right away uh, in this period. 
and that the what they're gonna do is basically the more popcorn you have, it incentivizes how much accumulation of popcorn you will continue to get. This is really good, guys, because it's not an actual token yet, so you don't have to pay on ta pay taxes every single time you get popcorn. You're only gonna be paying taxes when you're converting that popcorn into a Gallo Film token. Okay, so that's what's really nice. But the benefit of retaining the popcorn is benefit of accumulation on it. So that's their, their kind of like carrot stick kind of thing. Now let's talk about how the supply is going to be distributed. Now the max supply, like we said, is 500,000 or 500 million gala film or token, which comes out to, for the first day, 250,000 gala film token that would be dispersed in the uh, distribution essentially, okay? Now, 50% initially is gonna go straight to Gala Games. That's what this operator supply means. So 50% goes straight to them. Now, however, I do like this. Annually, they're gonna decrease that by 5%, which means over 10 years, Gala will be receiving no Gala film from the distribution, okay? Uh, they say, of course, they're gonna be using that distribution to pay for developmental costs, marketing, advanced partnerships, grants, minimum guarantees. Node operators, only 10% initially, and it's gonna go up by 2.5% annually. This is another reason why I'm saying those premium common ground mystery boxes are a freaking steal. Because for $5,000 for a Gala film node, you could buy a 1,000 of those uh, bad boys, which would turn into essentially 400 small buckets. Do the math, 400 times 240, a ton of Gala film token. Now, they did say that the 10% is just like the base level for that Gala film node on how much you're going to earn, okay? And that basically, if you're doing like content incentivization right here and ecosystem supporting behaviors, that can kind of boost up. So maybe you'll be earning like 20% if you're pairing things or something like that. They haven't gone into super specific detail. The content incentivization mechanism is a 20% initially. Now, they're saying publishers, creators, and Galaxian viewers will earn Gala film tokens based on the amount of content consumed on the platform. For for example, if a publisher or creator brings an independent film to the Gala Film, they would receive Gala Film tokens based on the viewership of that project in addition to any sales. Now, Galaxians can only earn tokens by watching if they also actively grow the platforms via shares and referred users. So they're really trying to get into the referred model uh, to try to get people to, you know, to bring more people in. Now, initially, this is going to start off at 20% of the emission rate, and it's going to increase by 2.5% annually uh, to continue to, I guess, to fill the, re the referral pool. Now the ecosystem supporting behaviors, this is a 20% initially to encourage the spread of content, attract new users. Gala Film will distribute tokens based on like what they deem as positive ecosystem supporting actions. Those actions are entirely at the discretion of Gala Film your gala, we'll just say gala, okay? Uh, now they do put some examples in here, such as like watching films, watching series of episodes, uh, bridging tokens to gala chain, uh, whatever that means, pairing reward earning NFTs, referring a friend who completes certain actions, your your referred friends refer a friend, which is always kind of neat. Uh, sounds like a kind of like a pyramid scheme when you say it like that, but it's not, okay? Uh, completing a shard set, completing all shard sets for films and series, and we'll talk about how that is gonna kind of go down. Now, they put out this nice graphic here. You can see the purple is essentially Gala film, and as they kind of go over those 10 years, we'll go down to 0% with the node operators and rewards increasing during that time to where they would go up and up and up, and that goes up to what, 40%, uh, I believe? And then the incentivization there as well at the end of the 10 years. So in 10 years is a long time, but I do like that, right? At least I wish those Gala games was kind of like that where they would have had a, a descending um, amount of emissions that they're getting. Uh, they throw out a couple of like monthly max and min emission charts here. Uh, they did have a little typo here. So this is too many zeros, but basically saying like during the day, this is like the max total emissions that can be put out. And then the minimum total, meaning that depending on like, I guess, uh, ecosystem supporting actions and stuff that's happening, it can kind of vary on how much it is. So maybe it's not locked into like, that specific uh, equation they showed up above. Now, moments and scenes. So people have heard about, uh, what do they uh, call them beforehand? Uh, like scenes, I think. So scenes are moments, moments are scenes. I don't know, I think shards get turned into moments, which can get turned into scenes. Uh, so they're committed to nurturing a vibrant ecosystem. They want to really develop this whole thing of like collectability and collecting these moments. Uh, the moments are designed to amplify your collection adventure by offering you film token incentives that go beyond the ordinary. So as you kind of delve into your favorite content and stuff, you can collect these moments. Now, anybody who has like bought NFTs for uh, like Ghost of Ruin or Razor or any of these other films that are coming out, essentially there's going to be a drop rate. Common moments, 60%. 
silver moments 30% and golden moments 10% chance. And of course, if you collect all these moments, then it's going to really boost the rewards you get. So these scenes are curated collections of moments. So strategically assembled to represent pivotal sequences from that film or that series. And then it'll be featured on the platform. They'll offer a selection of notable scenes and you can collect in part or entirely by owning the indiv individual moments and build those scenes. Now that con collection of the scenes will add a layer of engagement. And then, like I said, will really boost the rewards that you get there. Now this is where they jump into the reward boost. And we're going to talk about some reward boosts you can already have starting out at the very beginning. Now scene completion boost. So basically users who manage to collect all the moments comprising a full scene will get a boost in their daily rewards from that. Now, if you get all the series the collection, so all the scenes from that particular film or series, you will yet get another and more significant big boost. So this really encourages people to really go out and try to like build these full collections, which is super fun and cool. I, I think that is pretty neat. Now here's where you already can get existing bonuses. And this is this is big, big here. So those Galliver scenes that they handed out during Galliver's Malta 2022, which was free, you just had to like click the QR code. If you collect them, you get this 0.025% bonus, okay? If you collect all 20 of these scenes, it'll automatically bump you to a 5% distribution bonus, which is pretty cool. Now, full sets don't stack. I don't know if this is for, like, if I, I really need to ask him this question. If you own, like, let's say 10 Gala Film nodes and you have, you know, a single set like this, does it 5% everything or only one node? I would think it'd only be one node, but you know, for a full account, that'd be pretty crazy. Um, and the BT orbs, they can all rejoice. If you own an orb, you can get a little bonus as well, a 0.0125% bonus, which is, granted, yes, it's it's a small bonus, but the BT orbs are supposed to have a lot of Gala ecosystem um, involvement. So if you think about this, if BT orbs have something like this in music, film, games, all kinds of functionality, it can actually get pretty cool. Now those are the limited edition ones. The ones that were limited edition, those are only 10% of that 0.125. So really a low, low amount. Um, and I've seen the orbs being sold in open sea and kind of moving around as well. So user levels, this is kind of at the discretion of Gala. They haven't really said how this is going to be built but basically your user level if you upgrade it or however that's going to be um you will be able to basically kind of get like a boost too or something i don't know how it's going to work they said they're going to talk about it more uh closer towards you know the the in there now we kind of go from here talking about more specifics of gala film and where they're kind of going with a lot of this so first off the content crowdfunding now this is kind of cool right so basically you can contribute some of your film tokens to these film projects you're interested in in return, of course, you would receive like either like, you know, scenes or moments or uh, mystery boxes from them or something, right? Some kind of unique benefits behind the scenes kind of stuff. Cool stuff like that, right? Which they can kind of set. Now, when you allocate those tokens to that set pool for that specific film, uh, you know, not only are you, are you like, you know, contributing them, but you're going to obviously be getting something, you know, in return as well. It's cool because then you're personally kind of investing right into uh, that film or series, which is super fun. Now... Whatever you put in that, so these films or whatever, right, they can set a a number, right? So they're looking to to generate a hundred thousand gala film, we'll say, right? And they want they give it a nine month period to try to fill that pool. So people put their money in, and then at the end of that pool, essentially there is a two day, how I read it, or a two year, a two year lock with a set vesting period. What this means is is all that gala film that's being given to that to that film project, they can't just sell it immediately. Um, uh, well, they can't sell the, the Gala film immediately, the tokens, but they can sell it to a fund or a VC interest. So what that means is, is like you promised like stock, right? Like here's some stock, but you can't access it for two years. And then this uh, venture capitalist over here says, hey, I want to purchase that stock from you. I understand I can't sell it for two years, but I want to buy it from you now so that you can have funds right now for your series, film, movie to pay for production and things like that. Does that make sense? Um they have agent incentives, okay? So if anybody knows anybody with some film and stuff, if you bring somebody and refer them to the Gala Film ecosystem and they get published on there, you you as an agent, quote unquote, can get a percent of the Gala Film tokens that's allocated to the project. So if you know anybody, keep your ears out. Um, now, they did say that the nodes are going to have some governance content moderation they'll be able to decide on acceptable and unacceptable content which is very curious because down here it says nodes cannot 
uh, uh, other than specific moderation guidelines, nodes cannot and do not make content decisions about what can and cannot come to the network. So I feel like that's kind of hypocritical and back and forth. So I need that to be clarified by uh, Bitbinder at some point as well on what the nodes can and can't, you know, bring to the platform. Uh, quality control, they can decide technical standards for content, resolution format, other specifications, and fee structures such as transactions, withdrawals, and other things like that. They did say that um, nodes can't do any kind of can gatekeeping. So uh, they can't like stop whether a film comes to the platform and, you know, what kind of content decisions about what can and cannot come to the network. So that needs to be cleared out a little bit more because that was not super, super clear for me. Now, the long-term governance, I did think this was pretty cool. Essentially what they're saying is they're going to have five Gala Film executives that are going to be um, kind of, you know, managing everything but after a couple of years they're going to start to uh, move out like one or two of those folks and put them with some kind of like community members that are voted on essentially to be uh, part of the gala film council uh, and then they also want to make a gala film dao so the film token holders basically would represent this dao so everybody who's holding gala film and with each token representing a voting right on proposals affecting that platform and so then the dao and the node ecosystem would be, create this kind of balance of power to enact proposals that they want to do now here's that film film council group of five officials initially these are going to be members of the executive gala film team but uh, the first two will end up be being elected in the third year of actual operation. So that's kind of cool, right? If you're like really involved in the Gala film stuff and you have a lot of, you know, uh, committee members that really, really like you and stuff and want to like vote for you to be kind of in there. That's pretty, pretty neat, right? Have a little bit of power there. So that's, uh, that's as brief as I could make the Gala film light paper. It's not super specific in some areas. So we're going to need some more kind of clarification there. Um, but I really do think Gala film is building something super awesome here. And, uh, yeah, jump on some of those, uh, premium common ground mystery boxes to, uh, score some extra buckets of popcorn. All right. Stay warm, Wookiees. <laughs>